Imagine 11 billion dollars and they won't scam Nigeria. 11 billion. Our national budget is only 40 billion dollars. Hi, my name is Juju. I have just got to say that Shen Kuti is one of the most intelligent Nigerians I have ever seen. Forget about how the media have tried to misrepresent him. Forget about the controversies around his name sometimes. If you listen to Shen Kuti, you are going to agree with me that he's not just intelligent. This guy is vocal and he, had, he has got strong passion for the Nigerian people. There is a recent video he's just dropped. He was trying to um, get the Nigerian attention to issues that really affect them. The Nigerian government recently just won a case against a fraudulent company from abroad who connived with some Nigerians and some politicians to defraud Nigeria of $11 billion. That's a lot of money. This issue has been on since 2010. And the court case just gave Nigeria a victory a few days ago. And Chiyun Kuti is trying to be like, why is this story not on, on the public domain? Why are the blocks, the big media houses, not reporting anything about this case? So I think when you listen to Chiyun, he's going to give a better and a more comprehensive explanation to the details of everything that is going on. I just want you to enjoy this video and I'll be back on later. Mm. Shefe Pawani. The media we will still get for this country. You know, what are you what is the job really? What 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 are you people doing? To the leak people sex tape. To the film show Kuti and now I'm going now investigative reporting. You cannot shine your light in the real dark part of this country. Now, Oyibo people go to do now. Now, Oyibo people, Oyibo journalists. Before I even go, let me thank uh, Mr. Olashupo Shashore. I mean, that's that, is that how you say his last name? Mr. Olashupo Shashore. We do that documentary about Nigeria. The history of an African colony for Netflix. Now, now I can't know why they open for hundred thousand dollar case for EFCC. That the man fight to remove Nigeria from this story I want to now make sure see this this can no work. Because the man makes sure see this can no work. He fight the given case for the rope arm case for EFCC. The rope arm straight one tie send a good jay. Because see these issues, eh, this is no longer military, you know, in the military era. They don't burn anybody well to bring any of these things come public space. You know, but in democracy, because especially the facts in Nigerian government need to be in good terms with the European Union and the American government, they must act like there's freedom of press. They must act like the press is free. So information that is out there, the press has every right to report it. So that they make sure so they, don't, they own the press, they own those ones they don't bond their way imagine this kind of issue where you know be front headline news for all over nigeria news because like the only way they talk about that imagine 11 billion dollars and they won't scam nigeria 11 billion our national budget is only 40 billion dollars a few people want to on this same case obasanjo they don't first scam on 16 billion and i remember the nipp obasanjo the uh, natural gas electricity national independent pipeline project for natural gas electricity obasanjo on the last day of his presidency i was in 2007 i can never forget on the 28th of may 2007 last day of obasanjo went to go and commission that nipp he said the thing done the work whereas they just put demo jail they just erect some things no pipeline joined the team. No line. No pipeline. No gas. Obasanjo go commission the work because they collected sixteen billion dollars. Nigeria budget. I repeat to you is forty billion dollars a year. Now we use for budget. Now Olashuko Shashori now save us. God bless you, sir. Anywhere you do. May God bless you. Let the ancestors continue to to bless you. Can you do my show in? Hmm. 
The sun will represent Nigeria for this matter. We don't know how much the man charged Nigeria for case where in the plan with the opponents to lose for the arbitration we will lose first for this case. So I'll give you a quick background. P and I D said they won't build basically they won't build gas plant for Nigeria. So they went into a deal with the Nigerian government. You know, they were backed by some powerful Nigerians. TY Danjuma is one of the powerful Nigerians backing this company. Companies that collect money, this is what they do. This is not what they happen for this country. And this is not why the media of Nigeria and these influencers must always face celebrities. Only celebrities. That's if anything that happens to celebrity move this country forward. Nothing will happen to celebrity can move this country forward. Except we institutionalize it ourselves from the perspective of the people. So they always you know, they direct, they distract your attention to stupid things. They turn uh, evil people to your role models. People who won't manipulate your brain. Now they're going to look up to. That they are, they've been paid. They know oh, how it is their job description. All the influencers, they get political backup. All of them. That's why any you know, of them will come online. That's why they make mouth. You know, you know, I'll do it here. I will say it. I take passage for this Nigeria. I will say it. I take passage for this Nigeria. The two they take passage for this Nigeria is their political backers. So how can people that you all know are in bed with the people destroying this country come to tell and say they like you? You say come believe say they like you. You could act accordingly. This is because you all know the truth. You don't know that like Nigeria. Una like una safe. That because una like una safe because una no say none of una like Nigeria. That is what unites you people. Your selfish interest. Now can they pretend online? Both the celeb influencer and the people. Now can they pretend online as if anything you people are doing is for Nigeria? When people know it's for your individual hatred of Nigeria, will not know secretly. When are they draw anything will be anti-African? Then are they then are they pull the money inside? So far the thing hate Africa, you people are there. Church hate Africa, you people are there. Mosque hate Africa, you people are there. All the hear thing insulting Africa, you people are there. African do you they kill everybody? African do you know they destroy everything? Jesus Christ will come and save you at the end. No, you people are all there. Buy Gucci, buy Benz, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you people are all there. When Africa go call. Where are you people? Nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found. Anything African. Where are you people? Nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found. So, these things are in the public spaces. People are paid billions of naira every year to make sure that you don't get that information. To make sure that internet like, to say talk about these things, they talk about stupid trivial issues. And whereas the news of this country say is this P and ID scandal. This case when Nigeria win two days ago. If Nigeria did not win this case, would have had to pay this company eleven billion dollars. They don't really position themselves. The lawyer, the uh, son, I only day where they represent Nigeria in the failed arbitration. Intentionally, or whether they sabotage their own country, they leak Nigeria legal secrets to the company who will they follow the so they will advise Nigeria, tell the company who will they fight the same advice, tell them what they did, what Nigeria they plan. Nigeria is a country, now Nigeria is not a human being, you understand? Nobody owns Nigeria. As a barista, a daily Ogun talk for you, they say Nigeria belongs to everybody, just so Nigeria belongs to nobody, just like Buhari. That's why we don't see Buhari in action. It doesn't exist. You belong to everybody. So, therefore, you belong to nobody. So, all these people that are supposed to be working for Nigeria, can they work for the company? When Nigeria, they fight against, they give all the... He charged Nigeria $179 million. Nine this man won't collect from this case. The case where he lose. Country, when no get school, when no get rule. This is what I'm saying. People gonna trust they get billions. Now go they heal them. Country where they pay people thirty thousand a month. This man they charge one seventy something million dollar for case where even they sabotage in country. Traitors, left, right, and center. They don't teach you now how to embrace treachery. How to love traitors. 
Naso Lagos State to build a railway. This railway they make noise at 56, 54 million dollar per 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 kilometer. Whereas the same company built the same railroad for Ethiopia at two million per two million dollar per kilometer. Treachery. Treachery. But they are your big boys. They are your big boys. You people be hailing them, jumping up and down, falling over yourself for nonsense that they do in this country. See, there are certain people we are going to call out for this P and ID scandal. It's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And that this country sits on its hand, none of these people have been rounded up. In fact, this one woman, the Madame Gogo with the thief, the money pass. She just died recently. This Mrs. Grace Tiger. The legal director of the Department of Petroleum Resources. All you have to do is go and read this. It's not. It's in public. Any Nigerian journalist can pick this judgment, read this judgment from this British judge, and inform the Nigerian people in a language that they will understand, and put fire in the ash of all these people. If things like this are not prosecuted in this country, if companies like this and their European owners, because this company, this PNID. This their company, the guy we get up, has been making money with Nigeria police over inflated costs of everything. I see all these things in the, I was reading the court judgment. The court judgment is right here. I read it for over an hour. I was reading the court judgment. This is the court judgment here. So it's public. It is public knowledge, oh, ladies and gentlemen. It is public knowledge. Our children, they sit down for ground for classroom. No blackboard. Our children, they sit down for ground. Somebody here say, who do us like this? These traitors that you continue to worship. These traitors that you cannot stand up to. That you are all cowardly in front of. When I'm going to shake. Now, this me because of... This now, you think this your influencers and celebrities? I say there be something. Cause they go they do any. I just you think these are what? what and I say there be something. They say they can't mind. What do you think this? They... they will take on our destiny. They buy money for our children. They will come online. They insult on our own fathers. We be victims. Your parents are victims of these people's atrocities. Now go come on like they, my papa where you day wait this one they do like this my papa where you day wait this one they do like stupid children. Because now also because of the victimhood will make your parents be ignorant people. Not only they train you where to understand how precious a parent is. This is your freedom to come online and disparage your own lineage based on the activities of a criminal. Based on the activities of a traitor, because the traitor they flash you the, the spoils of your own destruction. Person will loot your own destiny, they loot your own life. They show you this the spoils, the loot of your own generational existence. You won't go online. Some of you they swear for her. Some of you they swear for all of the generation when they try that nonsense. But I can't go online. They, they take a test to now that I don't get sense. They, they test to now now. No, it's only thing like social engineering. They call it social engineering. Yes, the, me and my friend for this house, we did watch one documentary. Uh, we did watch one show last week tonight by John Oliver. John Oliver, big ups to you, man. Now, the only man we may respect for American TV did that. John Oliver, that's my man. He do one exposition on a company called McKinsey. Social engineers. I, when I look at the documentary finish, when I see the sinister behavior of that company, how that company helps big people, big companies, evil governments to manipulate their people. I tell my guys, this company must be Nigeria. We go, 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 we put McKinsey. I never ever type McKinsey finish, come out McKinsey, Nigeria. Their office is there for Lugard. I say they must be. This is not a coincidence. I say they must day. I say I said what it is. I Google and I say McKinsey night. He come out. I look the address. He day for Lugard. He I see on a must day. I see on a hand. I they see on a hand. This social engineers people don't know what is going on. They are fingering your brain left and right. 
fingering your brain like this, you think you are in control of your own actions. You are not. You never, because you never thought your actions through. Trust me, you never sit down one day, think where, what you are doing. Me, I know one person. So what kind of country hmm, are we in that this kind of things happen? And the people that do it, nobody says anything to them. Because as I'm talking to you that the president of this country, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, you cannot tell me you don't know that this P and ID thing is going on. Because I know for a fact that Ola Shashore is great friends with Raji Fashola. I know that for a fact. They are like five and six. So they, there's no way Shukashore is Raji Fashola's friend and you don't know about this PID scandal. What's going to happen to all these people? Nothing. This is why they always draw me your ear that they're looking for foreign investment. This is what the foreign, foreign investment is local extraction. They work with these companies. To, these companies deliver nothing to Nigeria. Nothing. Penny wife pound foolish. They'll bring maybe one or two million and then they take 11 billion away from our country and share among themselves. Lawyers alone will be collecting 850 million pounds, one year 76 million dollars. 